Okay, so today's review is virtual reality headset. This was six pounds from Home Bargains. Um, I'm not sure if they stock it in any other pound shops. Uh, it's just where I saw it. Um, and uh, six pounds. Pretty good price. You know, I thought, well, it's got to be worth a pun. I'm not expecting it to be amazing. You know, it's it's one of these cheap little things. Uh, so let's have a look at it. So, uh, so basically your phone um, goes in the front of the headset. Uh, what have we got here? Instruction manual. Those will be handy. So yeah, yeah. It looks like you set up your app, configure it for left and right. Obviously, get it the right way around. It's not going to be hard on today's smartphones. Uh, you can adjust the pupil alignment and the distance alignment, and you're a happy robot. Okay. What else? Warnings. Okay. This is what it's about. And there it is. Uh, I have to say, it feels, feels quite solid. Uh, I mean, it's, it's obviously cheap, but it feels rather good. Um, let's see. Whoops. Okay. Oh, that's supposed to come off. It's magnet. Yeah, okay. Uh, let me get this open. Okay, so in there, that's your, where you look through from the other side. This is where your phone goes in. And this is quite a good little thing actually because this opens up really far. When I first got it, I didn't think my phone, it's an iPhone 6 Plus, I didn't think it would fit in. But these two little brackets, if you can see that there, those open up a hell of a long way. So I'm pretty sure you can fit any phone in there. Probably even a small tablet. Okay, scratch that, probably not a small tablet. Um, that's magne magnetic, so that's quite nice. And that's magnetic as well, so that just fits on there pretty nicely. Um, the one thing I can't do is replicate how this looks when it's all working. Um, it's... For, for six pounds, okay, it's... It's quite good if you've never experienced virtual reality before or like a 3D movie. Um, you know, this will give you a sense of what that is. And I, I've got to say the 3D aspect is probably the better aspect of the things you can do with this. Um, I mean, it, it really does look good. And for six pounds, I mean, I can't complain. Six pounds, it really does work. Um, Obviously, it's not as good as the uh, the more expensive ones out there. There's a lot of options when it comes to cheaper ones. Um, uh, you know, this is feels like it will last. Um, this little adjustment thing right here is um, it can give you a bit of a headache if you have to keep adjusting it, uh, and it will hurt your eyes. So. You know, as with virtual reality, short stints and long breaks to let your eyes adjust and readjust. Um, having said that, you know, I've, I've I've spent a whole day pretty much looking at things and yeah, hurt my eyes. <laughs> um, but yeah, for six pounds, you know, your, your kids will get a lot of enjoyment out of this, even if you're an adult you'll get a bit of enjoyment out of this, especially if you can't afford one of the major um, virtual reality headsets, one of the more expensive ones. Uh, let's have a look in here. It's, it's universal fitting, it's not the most comfortable. It is light. Um, if you tighten up the straps, it will stay on your head. It won't fall down. This little bit it does kind of hurt your nose, but that's 
what I'm guessing these little things are for. Pop them in there. Ah, lovely. So yeah, um, that's why we review this. If you're thinking about going going out and buying it, I mean, don't expect seven hundred pounds uh, worth of virtual reality equipment there, you know. But as a little gimmick, as a little thing, you know, I'd say go and spend your money out on this. It's pretty good, you know. Um, I bought it just pretty much to review it, um, but ended up having quite a good time with it. So, you know, and there's a lot of videos on, on uh, YouTube. Uh, Google Cardboard videos uh, work amazingly well with this, and 360 videos. Um, it, it does put you right in there. It really makes you feel like you've gone to another place. Um, and for six quid, that can't be a bad thing. <laughs> so yeah, that's my review of the virtual reality scope from Home Bargains, five ninety nine. Brilliant bit of kit, if you ask me.